Hey everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to another Civ 6 video and more specifically, welcome back to part 2 of Civilization 6 Alternate Leaders. In this series, we take a look at one leader not currently in Civ 6. We do it all within one take and all within five minutes just for the added drama and pressure and tension and just to stress me out a bit more. Now, last time we looked at Elizabeth I as an alternate leader for England, but today we are moving across the Atlantic and taking a look at, a, at an alternate leader for the United States of America. So thank you very much to Robert who suggested this one. And by the way, if you want me to cover a certain leader in the next episode, let me know down in the comments. But thank you to Robert who suggested this one. And because of that, today we are looking at Mr. Abraham Lincoln, the man who was at the forefront of keeping the Union together in the American Civil War and issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which was one of the first key steps to ending slavery in the United States. Now, in regards to his history in the Civilization series, Lincoln has appeared in numerous Civ games up until this point, including all the mine all the mainline Civilization games before Civ 5. You can tell it's one take because there's errors, but all the mainline Civ games before Civ 5 and both Civilization Revolution titles. I still love your Civ Rev, I always will do. Well, the first one anyway. Now, in these videos, what we do is we take three key achievements of each leader and we try and apply them in some way to Civ 6. So we kind of discuss the history behind it, discuss the, discuss the achievement itself, but then I'll try and give some kind of way it could work in Civ 6 in regards to game mechanics. And a lot of that I like to throw over to you guys in the comments so you can let me know how you think these things would work because I only have five minutes to try and cover it all. So the first bonus I'm going to talk about today, I've actually given a name for this one, and that is the Industrialist Bonus. Now, strangely enough, all of Lincoln's key achievements that I'm going to talk about here are related to the American Civil War. But to start with, we're actually going to talk about something which you may not be so um, knowledgeable, knowledgeable about, and that is related to industry, which is a bit boring compared to battles, really. But... Nevertheless, one of the key reasons the northern states emerged victorious from the conflict was actually their ability to mobilise and industrialise. A great example of this is in railroads, or if you're in the UK, we're just kind of talking about train lines here. And Lincoln actually oversaw mass building of railroads in the Transcontinental Railroad Project, which both helped to unite the people of the northern states in a physical as well as symbolic sense, and possibly more importantly, produce valuable strategic networks for moving soldiers, equipment and materials around, something which the southern states just couldn't match. Now in Civ 6, maybe this could be celebrated in a bonus which offers bonus movement in home territory, or more appropriately and more interestingly in my opinion, some form of bonus production when you link a couple of cities up. So I'm looking for something like that. Now next up I'm going to talk about an idea which links to increased loyalty and increased amenities in wartime because when you actually look at Lincoln's ultimate aim in the Civil War it was just to keep the United States together as one country. Clearly the Confederate States wanted away from the Union and if they had emerged victorious from the conflict they would have had their way and left I'm sure. Instead, Lincoln, through a combination of good strategic moves and keeping the people of the northern states motivated, managed to emerge victorious and keep the Union together in the end, obviously because we don't currently have a confederate um, group of, of states that seceded from the Union, obviously. But obviously because Lincoln completed his ultimate war goal in keeping the Union together, maybe in Civ 6 this could be demonstrated with bonus loyalty and amenities under Lincoln's control Particularly during wartime, I think that would work quite well and would make America very difficult to break down in a war. Now, the final bonus I want to talk about today, I, I'm just interested to get your, your guys' thoughts on how this could relate to some form of game mechanics, but that focuses on the Emancipation Proclamation because... I just had to give a shout out to it because when Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, it was a major step towards the ending of the bar bar barbarianism that slavery is. It's obviously horrific. And the fact that the Emancipation Proclamation managed to really sim signal the beginning of the end for that in the United States is, is really, really good, obviously. Now, I'm not sure exactly how that could be represented in game, but it was just such a key stepping stone towards the end of slavery in the US that I thought I had to mention it. Okay, so what do you think? Let me know down in the comments, and I am just about out of time. 
Thank you so much for watching this video today. To watch another one of our videos, then check out the video in the box on screen right now for the Liz's first video. Also, make sure you hit the like button on this one. Subscribe to the channel for more Civ 6 content. My name is Alex, and I will see you in another video soon.